hot out here in LA today and unfortunately I decided to wear black for some reason go figure anyways I want to take a few minutes to talk about a movement that's been gaining momentum that I noticed and a lot of indigenous activists are actually promoting it and I mean I understand the movement it's a good movement I see the goal that they're trying to achieve and it's a good goal hopefully someday I can promote it but just right now I got other things to promote besides that and uh, what I want to talk about is black and brown unity the thing about this movement though as I said it's a good movement but at the moment the way that both races have been treated I don't know if it's gonna work for as long as everybody thinks it's gonna work because um, keep in mind that both races suffered horrendously under colonialism we have both both races have been have been basically the target of mostly all the bad things about colonialism we've been the most brainwashed we've been the ones that have been targeted the most and the thing though about this movement is that when we start promoting it we forget that among us among our own community we're still divided this I'm not talking about just the indigenous community but I'm talking about the black community as well you know both of them both races are still divided I don't know about you guys but I gotta fix my house first before I can help my neighbor fix his I don't know if you guys get what I'm trying to say but what's happening right now is that it's two damaged people going into a relationship everybody knows everybody assumes that it's gonna go bad everyone knows that it's gonna go bad and of course it goes bad right two damaged people cannot help each other for too long and this is the problem with that is that we have forgotten that we still are divided the worst I say this because at work I get along better with um, the black people from the black community you know I joke around with them the most I actually trust them the most than I do my own race and I don't think I'm the only one that this happens to what does that tell us though I mean come on you know I am not the only one that goes through this every day. We are still divided ourselves. Everywhere we go, there it is. That crack that basically is a border. You know, the division line. Everywhere we go in this city, in any city. And those have to be mended. We gotta heal ourselves before we can actually start helping another race some of you may say no you know that I can do it all you know all right fine that's completely up to you you know I mean I'm not I'm not telling you to do what I say I never said that and um, I wouldn't say it at all because we're all human and we're all entitled to make our own choices not have someone else make it for us and that goes for this video and every other video that I have everything is just my perspective and this is the way that I feel about this and the thing is though that like some of these activists they're good activists you know I mean I got respect for some of them but this is a trail that basically I don't know how I don't know where it's gonna end and I don't want to see my people end up more damaged than they already are you gotta have at least that hope in ourselves that we can fix before we can fully start to fix 
putting the whole society around us. But that's just my opinion. You know, Amazon Papa Shuban, our past, our land, our bloodline, our future.